Our correspondent in Brussels, Dave Keating, tells us more about the EU's aid missions already being dispatched. Those search and rescue teams are already either on the ground or on their way, and that's because Turkey requested to activate the EU's civil protection mechanism. Uh, so these teams are urban search and rescue teams. They're specialized in finding people trapped in rubble, uh, identifying really those urban areas. Those teams are coming from France, from Greece, from Bulgaria, uh, Croatia, Czechia, Poland, Netherlands, Romania, and Malta. Other countries have also offered their assistance uh, and are waiting to see where they're best needed uh, for Italy, Germany, here in Belgium. Uh, Italy has also offered its assistance. That's really key because Italy is very used to dealing with these type of earthquakes and they have a lot of very specialized search and rescue and earthquake response teams. And in fact, Italy had a tsunami warning overnight. That's how close they are to the uh, center of this earthquake. Uh, now, also, the EU has offered the use of its Copernicus satellite satellite observation system that so local authorities in Turkey can use that satellite system to identify where the damage is, to identify possible people trapped, uh, infrastructure like bridges may be at the risk of imminently collapsing. Um, here in Belgium, we had the foreign minister, Heja Labib, offering Belgium's assistance today uh, and extending condolences to the victims of the earthquake. Uh, we don't know exactly what that assistance is going to entail. We do know that there are 200 Belgians in that Turkish border region. We don't have any information that any of those Belgians have deceased. But of course, this is a refugee area uh, right on that Turkish-Syrian border. There are lots of refugees on either side of that border. And that is who really could have been very, very affected by this earthquake. And of course, there are already humanitarian relief efforts going on there for those refugees. And that's going to have to spring into a totally different type of operation right now. That was our correspondent Dave Keating reporting from Brussels.